Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and today we are looking at the only roadmap I care about this year, and that is 2024 roadmap for Ready or Not. So this game got its full 1.0 release in December, and we now have our roadmap of content coming later this year, and presumably for further years to come. So we'll start with the blog post that says, This week we are thrilled to bring you our public Ready or Not roadmap for 2024, highlighting future milestone developments to the game. So let's just run through what we're going to be getting. So first they talk about winter 2024. Now, the confusing thing about this is that this is winter right now at the beginning of the year. So be noted that winter 2024, when they mention that, is actually right now. So the hotfix number four is apparently arriving very soon. It will then be followed by in the spring of 2024, DLC number one, which is called Home Invasion and the 1.1 update. Then we've got DLC number two planned for summer of 2024. And then going into the fall of 2024, we are getting a 1.2 update. Now it should be noted that these are paid DLCs. So this is not like free content that gets added into Rainbow Six Siege or something like that. These are paid content that you can buy. DLC one will be included with a supporter edition of the game, which of course is more expensive. You can technically say you're getting it for free, but you did pay more money to get that edition. So you're kind of already paid for it. And then DLC number two, everybody has to pay for that, including the supporter edition owners. They also mentioned that all of these DLCs will come with new weaponry, which is free for everybody. So the DLC is released. Even if you don't buy that DLC, you do get the additional weapons and there will be an additional DLC exclusive player outfit as well. Now, in between the DLCs, we are getting the 1.1 update and the 1.2 update. There's very little information on what is planned for these. They just say that there will be additions, improvements, and bug fixes. Additions could mean other game modes on the already existing maps. Improvements overall could just be performance improvements or gameplay improvements. Now, before we finish up with this video, let's go over why Ready or Not doesn't really post that much news. They do actually put out like a bi-weekly blog post all the time but it's very light usually on like additional things coming in the future. So they say here, as many of you know, we have intentionally refrained from sharing public roadmaps in the past. Instead, we choose to operate on our own private internal roadmaps that were best suited for fluctuating development schedules during early access. However, now that we're past 1.1, we can speak more assuredly about public timelines and milestones. And I will, of course, remind you just at this point that this is not a AAA developer or stuff like that. Don't expect lots of updates very quickly with loads and loads of content for the year. We've seen that it takes them a while, while to fix stuff and improve stuff. And the best bet is just to sit back and wait for a patch or an improvement to come out. It might take longer than you would like, but it is best to just chill and enjoy it. These are an indie developer. And in saying that, there's also the potential for delays. Where you might see a Rainbow Six Siege season always come out every three months, it could well be that the spring DLC gets delayed until summer, like another three months later or something like that. That is perfectly possible for the future of Ready or Not. But this is wonderful. I'm just really happy that they are going to continue to add DLC to this game, and I very much look forward to seeing what they come up with. The Home Invasion one sounds perfect, because one thing I don't like about Ready or Not is it has a lot of very big maps that can take you a good... 40 minutes or more sometimes to clear. And even when the map ends up being a house and ready or not, it's like three stories tall with many, many rooms in it. I would love a kind of bunch of maybe small houses that you can be responding to with home invasion calls. And you go in there and find like hostages and stuff and end up in pretty cool situations. So there's a lot of potential for the first DLC. And of course we don't know what the second one is called, but I am looking forward to seeing all this content released this year. Now I will add that there's no mention of PVP here and I think that's a great thing because I don't really want PVE to be soaking up any of the resources that could be going into PVE content for this game. And I do expect there might well be a PVP mod at some point in the future, but it doesn't seem like it's a PVP mode or anything like that coming this year officially in the roadmap. And again, I'm very happy for the developers of this game to take their time with the content and make it what they really, really want. And hopefully I'll also find financial success over the long term as well so that we continue to get DLC. This also has a very good modding community too with all kinds of mods. So I presume that we'll also get a lot of additional content from modders out there who are doing all kinds of stuff like ODST mods or zombie mods that are absolutely phenomenal in this game. 
and that will be great for filling in the gaps between releases. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.